there is a mass m spring i will go for this is in equilibrium there is no gravity assume there is no gravity now i push it by dx i gently disturb it along this direction dx find the will the motion be asymptotic or not if yes find the time period तो आप कुछ इजी वाले दे दो लाइक के टू के थ्री के और ठीक है आई मेक दिस एस के एंड के दिस टू आर के एंड के एंड दिस इज के डैश एक्चुअली आई वांटेड यू टू क्लियरली विजुअलाइज के व्हाट इज द इंपैक्ट सो के एंड के डैश इज ओके बिकॉज़ फॉर के इट विल बी लाइक सेवेंट व्हाट इज द एक्सटेंशन इन दिस स्प्रिंग एक्सटेंशन इज डी एक्स ओन and in this extension how do i find let me assume this length to be l are you getting this yes sir and this is dx so this will be root of l square plus dx square now what is the extension in this this minus this am i right extension do you understand this this is the new length of this spring this point has reached here and this is the original length l so the new length minus original length is the extension do you understand this yes and if i use the binomial expansion of this please pay attention the binomial expansion will be this to the power you have you might have done it in maths i do not know have you done it or not use pehle divide kar do fir hi hoga na पहले एल बाहर ले लिया तो एल बाहर आ गया ये बन गया वन प्लस डी एक्स बाई एल का होल स्क्वायर नाउ वन प्लस एक्स टू दी एक्स एनीथिंग एक्स टू दी पार एन इज वन प्लस एन एक्स एंड हायर ऑर्डर टर्म्स एक्स स्क्वायर बाई टू फैक्टोरियल एक्स टू बट दिस इज डी एक्स बाई एल इज अ वेरी स्मॉल टर्म डी एक्स स्क्वायर ऊपर से और भी छोटा हो गया एंड डी एक्स स्क्वायर की हायर ऑर्डर टर्म्स कैन बी नेग्लेक्टेड सो इट बी एल वन प्लस वन बाय टू इंटू डी एक्स बाय एल होल स्क्वायर हायर ऑर्डर टर्म्स आर नेगलेक्टेड दिस इज बाइनोमियल एक्सपेंशन यू विल लर्न इट लेटर माइनस एल एंड इफ यू रियलाइज दिस एल विल गेट कैंसल एंड यू विल बी लेफ्ट विद दिस डी एक्स स्क्वायर रहेगा हाँ भाई तो फिर उसका क्या हाँ जस्ट सी ना सो नाउ प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग the force due to this spring please pay attention the force due to this spring will be k dash into dx upwards am i right yes. force due to this spring will be this force component of this force in this direction will be if suppose this is phi so the component will be now so the component of this force the force is along this direction the component of this force in this direction this components will get cancelled this component will get added and this component will be cos phi cos phi cos phi from this triangle can be written as cos phi will be what this upon this am i right yes sir so dx plus k into extension is epsilon into cos phi Which is and twice of this, so it will be k dx plus two k. Epsilon is how much? Half dx square by l. This is epsilon. Epsilon into into cos phi. Cos phi is dx by this. Dx by l, almost. Actually, it is new length l dash. So now just see, this becomes dx cube, and this is dx. Can you tell me dx cube is negligible in terms of dx? Yes or no? Yes. So actually, this term can be neglected. It's a third order differential term compared to this. So only yes. So the only this spring is playing a role. These two springs are almost negligible. i wanted to illustrate this to you that if two springs are perpendicular to the motion then the the effect of those two springs on the motion is negligible the effect of these two springs 
I have considered every factor taken right approximations is negligible compared to the effect of the third spring. So the motion of this mass will be governed by K dash only and not these two. Now let me give you a different case. Should I rubbe? Now if instead of it being a perpendicular case, if the case is like this, please see. This is mass M0 and this is one spring, this is another spring, third spring. And they are like 120 degrees each. Corners of an equilateral triangle, identical. K, K and K. Now if I displace, one minute. Now if I displace, I can give you any displacement. I can tell you I displace it along this dx and leave it. Now find the period of oscillation. Will it be a, it will be an SHM, find the time period. dx square or dx dx or dx square. Dx square can be neglected in addition in comparison with dx. So dx square, dx cube, any higher order terms can be neglected because please understand 10 to the power minus 20 and 10 to the power minus 20 square. 10 to the power, 10 to the power minus 40 is very negligible compared to 10 to the power minus 20. In one spring, in the topmost spring it will be extension, in the lower springs will it be extension or compression? Compression. Compression. Uh, continue, continue. Good. Actually, I'll tell you a shortcut to this. Please see this. In the last case, our springs were like this, the other two springs. So if dx was given in this direction, x, the component of dx in along the length of this spring, please understand one thing. If, if you are here, yeah, if you are at some distance, large distance, and then you give a small displacement here, this line remains almost in, along the same length, along the same direction. Please remember this. If it is a long distance and it is a small distance, then these directions are almost same. Now pay attention. If I just focus on, if I see the displacement dx, and I want a component of this dx along a perpendicular direction. What was the component along this spring? Tell me. dx cos 90. So earlier the component along this direction when they were at 90 degree was 0. If I just take this, please see this. I assume that this is a large spring, I mean large length. And when I do a small displacement, the string almost remains parallel to itself. So the component of dx along this direction, this angle is 60 degrees, will be how much? dx cos 60. And the component along this will be dx cos 60. So actually, this spring will be extended by dx, so the force will be k dx. And this spring will be compressed by dx cos 60, so the force in this direction will be k dx cos 60. And same way, this spring will be exerting a force like this, k dx cos 60. And if we do binomial expansion, the way you are doing it, please understand. <clears throat> if you take this as the new length, L dash, this was the original length L naught, and this is dx and this angle is 60. If you use cosine rule, you will still find L dash, and after finding L dash, L0 minus L dash will give you the compression and you will find after suitable approximations you will reach at this only. Exactly. So this is like a shortcut. Please understand this. So, I know, I know. That is, that is there. So, so now once you want all these, this is 60, so this is also 60. So now cos component of this, cos component of this and this. So net force in upward direction will be k dx plus k cos square 60 dx twice of this. This is the net force is equal to mass into acceleration and then we'll do it. And dx was downwards, force was upwards, therefore restoring in nature, linearly proportional and you'll be able to solve it. Have you understood this? Basically, we have to approximate the 
रिपीट अगेन सर पिछले क्वेश्चन में फिर हमने जो इतना बायोनॉमल एक्सपेंशन लगाया उससे बढ़िया हाँ तो वही तो अभी मैं पहले ही लाइन पे आपको वो शॉर्टकट समझा देता तो यू वुड फेल्ट के उसका चाम आपको समझ में नहीं आता इससे पहले वाले क्वेश्चन में इफ आई शो यू प्लीज आई जस्ट शोड यू दैट इफ द स्प्रिंग इज लाइक दिस एंड लाइक दिस एंड नाउ आई गिव इट अ डिस्प्लेसमेंट डीएक्स प्लीज सी दिस द कॉम्पोनेट ऑफ डीएक्स अलॉन्ग दिस डायरेक्शन इज आउ मच डीएक्स कॉस नाइनटी Which is zero, so there is almost negligible, no extension in this spring, almost. So this way we will do it faster. So this is a faster way. Have you understood this? Yes. Sir. Next question. There is a thing called torsional pendulum. There was linear translational motion, then there was rotational angular motion. Now I can have a torsional pendulum also. Please understand this. What it can be? Suppose I have a wire. and i would disconnect it to it weld it to it this weld it to it now if i rotate this wire about this vertical axis disc clockwise so there will be an anti there will be a resistance to it for my rotating if i try to rotate it there will be a resistance to it that is called restoring torque the way we were trying to displace a body from equilibrium there was a restoring force If I rotate the disc and turn it clockwise, there will be an anti-clockwise torque, and within the limits of Hooke's law, within the elastic limits, where stress is proportional to strain, I will have that the restoring torque will be proportional to the theta that I. If you have a torsion, that is called torsion. When you have, suppose, you have my arm go twist, carry you. This kind of thing is called torsional torque. I mean. torsional uh, displacement so if i give it a theta angular displacement by applying a torque about this disc so this theta torque restoring torque will be proportional to theta and restoring torque will be oppositely directed if i give it d theta and i'll write that in brackets and this will be c theta theta is not a vector here magnitude will be like this and again the same story put it equal to find omega time period is 2 pi by omega and net torque is equal to i alpha sorry upon i bhi karna padega alpha find alpha alpha is equal to omega square theta and you will get time period time period will be 2 pi by so this kind of, have you understood what is torsion see some constant proportionality constant any anyway. yeah for different materials it will be